I'm John, draw my chin, and I can have my legs. The Battle of Gettysburg fought on July 1863 was a Union victory that stopped Confederate General Robert Lee's second invasion of the North. More than 30,000 men fell in three day fighting, making it the bloodiest battle of American Civil War. In the summer of 1863, Confederate General Robert Lee launched his second invasion of the Northern States. Both sides collided at the crossroads of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on the morning of July 1st, 1863. In spare fighting, the Confederates sweeped the Union forces from the fields west and north of town, but was unable to score some Terry Hill in the following day as reinforcements arrived on both sides. Lee attacked the Confederates on the high ground and also Little Bound Top further south, but failed to acknowledge the Union soldiers. On July 3rd, Lee attacked the Union Center on the Summitary Ridge and was known for Pick Pickett's charge. Lee's second invasion of the Northern had failed and result in heavy casualties on both sides. An estimate of 51,000 soldiers were killed, wounded, captured, or listed as missing after the Battle of Gettysburg. There's so much we can learn from that battle. Why it was fought? You never know. But I do know this. That battle a turning point for American Civil War. You just imagine 51,000 people hand to hand combat. I can't imagine that. Just imagine taking a gun, bow nail, whatever you have, bananas and stuff. That's what they had in Civil War, I believe. A bayonet. Guns, cannon, hand to hand combat. You imagine somebody using a cannon blowing somebody's leg off. I can't imagine that. That pain will haunt you forever. You imagine what the families went through after that battle and people were affected in that town of Gettysburg. I've had stories. Uh, people who were hurt or killed because of that battle. Yes, Lee could do something different, turn tired of the war, but this part of history, he tacked in the middle and he thought that's where the weakest point was. He could be right, but we never know. Why he did that? All we know was the Battle of Gettysburg. That's all we know. And the history followed us for generations upon generations. We will have that memory and cherish for the rest of our lives. It probably, I guarantee this, your people are still missing. It can be found today. I wanted it someday, I won't go there. Somebody left me. So I get the money, right? So I'm going to do a, a week trip. I would love that. I would love to go by myself at that time and see what is there for myself. Because I would enjoy that every single moment and listen to the stories of the men who know each other and fought bravely. My heart, my soul is with them famished too tonight. I know it's been a long time ago since they died, 
So what I did today, I bought a, a coin, several coins, just give me a minute here. Okay, this, I know this is not the, the date of the Civil War, but it's after the Civil War. This is 1874. I tried buying stuff like this. You see, how was it? The reason why this one, oh, because look, somebody, I don't know what they did here, put a hole in top or put be like that, but moving the face value of it, but I might wood about it. Then I bought these today. I'm gonna show you guys. Just give me a minute to open this up. So I gotta open it up, see? So I gotta open it up. I don't wanna drop it on these. It's very, very old. I've got several things in here. See if I can get a date. It's 1971 on this one. Which one got these? You know, the collectors. Um, these don't have dates. Got three of them here. So got no dates. Here's one of them. No dates. I'm putting them back in the bag. So this one here, I'm going to show you. That's the condition this one is. United States of America, $1. 1971, and God we trust. You don't really get, you don't get these anymore. What, $1? Then, got that. I got other stuff here. I collect all these. Now, you don't, now I collect these too. Because look, I said most of the guns. I want to have these when I was a little kid. You don't get these at metal ones at this moment. Who didn't know what toys it was? You see how old the paint is coming off a little bit here now. Um, we look at the date here. 1993 and that one. Uh, let's have a date on this one. Yep, 1993, both of them. So you know how old they are. From the 90s, early 90s. These two here are from the early 90s. Um, I collect over everything. This one, see, that's my coin I told you about. And I like to collect other stuff too. I collect a little bit of everything. Like this one. And try and get it out here. So I'm putting back here, I'm going to break them. It's my collector boss.
Yorley. My favorite thing, I'm gonna show you guys. Let knows what that is. Let me see if I can get close on you guys. It's from the line 11. It's from the line 11. Give us the, this baby or baby is baby boy. This one here, my dad's. I don't have to, I just noticed that. What the hell? Look at this. So, my, um, my dad's thin book. You know, there's a head in this. I'm not joking about it, but it's funny. But, well, I just noticed it. So I make it fun like that, but also, you guys didn't see this. First story. 1986. This was probably the one that's because it was in the box. Uh, while my box was living, probably got broke over the years, but uh, that's what I can do about it, but like doggy. That's my football guy from Hamilton. 